Okay, this is the first tutorial video looking at the uh, air system in this game. We're going to be looking at uh, air superiority, ground missions, um, escorts, and interceptions. We're not going to go through the actual attack mechanism at this particular stage. You know, everything you see here with marked with an orange cube is an attack. So the first thing you do you have to allocate your air superiority aircraft uh, now this should be done in secret but because I'm playing solo um, I'm just doing it allocating it how I think they would have done it um, I've got to admit I am aware that I know things that the Particularly the Israelis didn't know. I, did, I know that these uh, SAM sites are incredibly effective. They had no idea how dangerous an integrated SAM network was going to be until they went in. I think they lost 40 jets on the first day. Something astounding considering the amount of aircraft they've actually, actually had. Um, so the first thing you do is you allocate your air superiority and the sign now the um, Egyptians have got an air superiority over on their chart the Syrians have got one on theirs and the Israeli have got uh, a box for each of their fronts okay um, now once you've done that the side that has the most air units in there has air superiority if there's a tie or there's no units up there, there's no air superiority. Now the, the only thing really that an air superiority does, it allows you to use uh, two escorts instead of a maximum of one escort for escorting a mission. Okay, units that go up into the air superiority can be used for escorts and interceptions. So if a, a mission's flown, and it's got an escort you can intercept it all right now what you can't do is you can't intercept and intercept and there's certain types of missions only certain planes can fly um things with a bomber a b there can only do ground attack t for transport can only do air transport fighter bomber can be air superiority or bombing uh, can't see a fighter off the top of my hand. Uh, there's a fighter there. They can only do air uh, superiority uh, interceptions. Okay, they can't do ground attack. So the first thing that has to be done is the the Arabs always go first. So this is like a joint phase. So the Israelis can plot their own ground attack missions etc but uh, I think to, do, to be aware of it's probably be a good idea to keep some air reserves available for the next turn um, which is something the Syrians haven't done I'll probably do a quick modification on that I think the Syrians have been a bit, a bit silly not leaving the ability to do the same in the uh, Israeli joint air mission segment so you put your your aircraft for your mission on top of the air the hex they're going to attack you must always attack units you can't attack empty hexes okay and then as soon as that's happened you decide how many escorts you want to fly and then it's up to the opponent to say whether they're going to fly intercepts okay Another thing you can do is you can actually attack airfields. Now, when you attack an airfield, it work, the, the process works the same way, but at the end of it, if you've got any ground attack aircraft left, you can uh, nominate two target aircraft on the enemy side, in the, basically in the flown box or the available box, and you can do a, a, an attack on them. Okay, the first one you can pick freely, the second one the defending player picks. 
Okay, so the, the next thing I'll have a look at is the actual resolution of all these things. While we're here, we've noticed that the, the indirect fire segments taking place, there's a lot of units that are fired. Uh, there's some units that have been neutralized. Oh, I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, neutralized basically means they lose their move and attack values and some have been destroyed. A couple of Israeli installations have been destroyed and an Israeli ground unit has been destroyed by indirect artillery fire. Now, another thing you note about air missions that they can be at three different altitudes, low, medium and high. Now, if you go for medium, you don't need to mark the hex, so that one's there's at medium, okay? If you do a low attack, it's more effective, but it's also a lot more risky. Right, that'll do for this first air video.